special because you are the only sign that got two. I'm just reminded about how beautiful you are. So your first quote reads, forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know before you learned it. Your next quote reads, your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Two simple quotes, Virgo, but highly powerful. And in this moment, you are being reminded of just how worthy you are, just how incredible you are, just how talented you are. Take these quotes and write them on your heart. Forgive yourself for any past mistakes or situations that maybe you didn't remember your worth. But now you do. I love you and let's get into your reading. And hello my Virgos, it's Tori, the hope dealer of guided intuition and I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance, okay? This is what your spiritual team, your angels, your guys, the divine, Allah, whatever it is you believe in, love muffin, this is what they want you to pay attention to right now in this moment in time in your life, okay? I am recording this in the month of May. However, whenever this video finds you, that is when it's meant for you. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may resonate, it may not. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're gonna find someone who picks up on your energy. So the shoe does not fit, don't force it. So my sweetest beloved Virgos, Anytime I get ready to do a, a session, a reading, or anything, when I take on someone's energy, anything that happens is of significance. And I literally just got an email from somebody <laughs> in the midst of me really tapping into your energy. And I'll just go ahead and put like a snippet of that email in here. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because we always need to discern, but you know when a message is for you and a message is not for you. And I have to deliver one of those messages to my Virgos right now. Um, but the message that I have to deliver, it's not quite easy to swallow, okay? It could be a little triggering, but I want you to know that when I say this, it comes from a place of unconditional love. And it comes from a place of me wanting you to fully step into your power, to know yourself wholeheartedly, to accept every ounce of you, you beautiful soul, and to know your worth. And one of the things that I found, um, Virgo, when I got in your energy is that I was just critiquing every little thing, even how I was straighten the cards on the table. I was just critiquing every little thing. And I feel like, um, Virgo, you're going to be unlearning, um, habits that I feel like are not yours. Um, we know, cause I have a Virgo moon, <laughs> so I get with the whole perfectionist thing, but I feel like, it's almost like this energy of trying to pretty yourself up, male or female, trying to make yourself presentable. You know, um, this almost this obsession with perfection that I feel like is leaving. 
But the crazy thing is, for some of my um, Virgos, this was something that you were shown in childhood. Maybe you had to meet a certain a parents or um, a, a caregiver, a certain kind of presence or you had to be a certain way you know to for people to like you or to have friends or you felt like you have to be this you know this this body image you know to 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 find love to have love like it's something that you are shedding around perfectionism critiquing yourself in this in the month of may and really allowing yourself to be for a lot of my Virgos, you're falling in love with yourself. Because maybe at some point down the line, that got a little blurry. They got a little lost. It could have got lost just because of, you know, um, how you were raised. It could have got lost because sometimes when we're seeking, you know, certain relationships and, you know, we can tie in with the wrong people and we can lose ourselves trying to prove that we're worthy of love. We're worthy, you know, of accomplishments. You know, we're worthy. There, there's some way that you used to get your worth that you're letting go of in the month of May. And I'm so proud of you. And for some of my Virgos, in order to fully step into yourself and um, be empowered and pursue your dreams and to know that you're worthy, there's a part of you that needs to be reclaimed. And like I said, this could be stemming from your childhood. Maybe you had to hold yourself to a certain standard of perfection because I do feel that way. You know, you could have had strict parents. You could have had no parents. Like it could have just, you know... You get what I'm saying? Like how how the world tries to push certain things on us. So I feel like you're shedding any of that toxicity when it comes around you. You're letting it go. And for some of my Virgos, the way that you shed this is there is a relationship. And you're going to know what I'm talking about because it's on and off. It was on and off. It's a lot of breadcrumbing. It's a lot of, you know, they deal with you when they have time. It's a lot of runner chaser. It's a lot of... You not feeling worthy enough. It's a lot of whatever you give, it's not enough to this person. Okay? You're going to know who I'm talking to with that. Because I am feeling like, you know, the overall general message and then I'm, I'm feeling something direct. And for some of you, if you are dealing with the person that it is a, a round around circle, round around circle, breadcrumbing, they deplete your energy Listen to me. This is the confirmation you've been asking for. No matter what that person looks like, you cannot save them. Whatever you give them is never going to be enough. This person, unknown to you, but you probably already feel this, but you're probably just thinking that you can help them just because of that beautiful heart of yours. That person is a narc a sociopath. They did not get the tender love and care that they needed and it and it it's self-absorbed but it's on the opposite pinpoint. So what I'm hearing for you Virgos that are dealing with somebody like that when you see crazy cross the street. This person could be trying to come back around and enter into your life. Notice every time you let them on, there is a cycle of you being depleted. And then they deplete you of everything. And then they leave. You build yourself up. They come back. They suck everything out. Then you build yourself up again. They come back and they suck everything out. This person is a lesson. This person is not your blessing. And you're going to know who I'm talking about, Virgo, because it's an off and on situation. It's breadcrumbing. It's, 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 it's highly, highly not, not good for you. And I feel like how you step into your power again is by releasing this connection wholeheartedly. Okay. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer um, because I feel like um, for some of you that have not released this person, this is what you're going to be coming into once you release this person or for some of my Virgos, once you relieve, re um, release this belief about yourself, you're going to be coming into you. 
okay? You in your entirety. So what we're going to do right now with these angel cards, because I see, I went ahead and pulled the door that you're going to be walking through um, this month. And I went ahead and, you know, seeing what spirit wanted, you know, you to know with the spirit, spirit animal deck. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to shuffle these cards and just see, you know, what more confirmation can spirit add to your life? Like what's taking place for you? What do you need to know that is of importance? you know, as you um, live life in this moment. And for some of my Virgos, as you move away from this person or move away from this belief that keeps you from fully um, embodying who you are or seeing your worth and beauty. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Oh, okay. I love it. <laughs> Look how, um, oh my God. Okay. The honesty. All right, we're going to put these back in and then we're going to um, shuffle some more. But that honesty, I feel like it's, it's a, it's, this is a month of you fully being honest with yourself. I feel like a lot of my Virgos are pulling the, the veil off of their eyes or the veil that you couldn't really see this person for who they are. I feel like Virgos, even if you did let this person back in, they're about to show you their true colors. When someone shows you who they are, Virgo, believe them the first time. For any of my Virgos that are dealing with that situationship, believe them the first time, okay? So let's see what comes out. Okay, so we have wholeness and guardian. So what I see is like, you are solely focused on your wholeness. You're focused on you being whole again, getting that validation from um, within. I also feel like some of my Virgos will be in hermit mode, but spirit wants you to know that you are protected. Like um, for a lot of you, this is even with your finances. This is even whatever, whatever was in lack or whatever was incomplete is coming and stepping into wholeness. Whether it's with your emotions, getting whole within yourself again, Virgo, um, getting whole within your, your spiritual practices, getting whole within your finances. I just see whatever, whatever was lost, just coming back together, like calling, calling the pieces of you home. So spirit just wants you to know that you're protected and you know, there's a guardian angel that walks with you. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, for some of you, I feel like that you're really confronting those addictions. It could be an eating habit. It could be a way that you feel about yourself. It could be um, you, you know, underestimating your worth and your abilities, you know. So I feel like you're coming into wholeness within yourself, which is beautiful to see, Virgo. And when I say owning your wholeness, Virgo, I really feel like you are finally giving that self-love Okay, to yourself, openly and honestly accepting you. Um, I feel like there's a part of you stepping fully into your authenticity. Whatever comes up, um, you are owning your emotions. You will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, you will say it. Whoever doesn't get it, doesn't get it. But at least they know it because I've said it. So you're no longer internalizing um doubts, pains, or things that you wish you would have spoke up. You're, you're freely speaking these things up. For some of you, I feel like there's a relationship with your mother that you're pos possibly going to be confronting and talking about um, with her. Also, I feel like you're trusting yourself more. You're trusting your intuition, no matter what it looks like. And also, you're more about your joy. And this is what's bringing you into wholeness, you know, in um, in this time period in your life, I'm so excited for you. So Virgo, we're going to see. Also, if you resonated when I said this person needs to heal, you know, if you dealt with the person who breadcrumbed you, you definitely want to pick up that book. I'm going to put it in here attached. Okay. Um, definitely. Um, get this book and if you are subscribed to the channel make sure you are subscribed because in patreon at the self-love academy we are going to be breaking this book down and also doing certain healing techniques self-healing techniques to move away from um that you know whatever unhealthy relationship pattern and move into a more healthy one that suits you, or you can just get this book and read it by yourself, Virgo, but I really recommend this book to you, okay? 
So now we're going to take a look and just see what door you're walking through. And I absolutely love this door. This is like, do you see how it looks? It's like my my door of wisdom. It looks like one of those New York um, cathedral libraries that have been like there for ancient times, which is so many stories. <laughs> so I feel like you're walking through the door of wisdom um, of yourself, of your needs, of your wants, of your desires, of what's good for you, what's not good for you. So let's just turn it around. Yep, see, freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. So I feel like you're no longer settling. That's the door that I honestly feel that you're walking through. You're like, you know what? I deserve the best and that's what I'm going to take. I'm no longer accepting crumbs in any area in my life, be it in career, be it in relationships, friendships, it doesn't matter. You are making a conscious decision to show up for yourself, Virgo, and I'm so freaking proud of you. And the more that you do this, the lighter your energy is going to feel. For a lot of you, whatever was holding you down, whether it was a person or a certain situation, when you finally let, when you let that go, didn't you feel your energy get lighter? I know you did. When you stop worrying about the opinions of others and stop judging yourself and critiquing yourself, a lot of things just freaking opened up for you. So now we're going to take a look at your card and just see, you know, what spirit wants you to know. What spirit wants you to know right now? And we have the panther spirit. Reclaim your power. It takes courage to face challenges. And right now, Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk, step into a different aspect of your being. Speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed you might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline rush as you initiate into a new, braver, bolder self. Panther Spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act towards reclaiming your Panther Spirit and power. Your new identity may feel strange at first, but you have what it takes, Virgo, and your soul wants this. Be bold. The quote that comes to mind that I really want you to embody this energy, Virgo, is feel that fear and do it anyway. Sometimes we wait until fear is completely gone when in reality, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be there. But you have to feel that fear and act anyway. Okay, act anyway. And that is what spirit wants you to know act anyway so now we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot and just see the general message the spirit has for you at this moment in time in your life okay my love so i didn't want to take too much time on the video but i wanted you to see me um put your cards down and just see what is the general message that spirit wants you to know about your life in this moment in time virgo whenever you're watching this video i always give this disclaimer because you know, how tarot works is it's meant to resonate with you when if, whenever it's meant to resonate with you. This could be, you know, even insight that your spirit guide spirit wants you to um, pay attention to, you know. Um, I don't know why I feel the need, especially dealing with you, Virgo, to like really um, just explain how, you know, powerful um tarot is as an intuitive gift okay i don't know if some of you read tarot but if you've been thinking about it i think it's something that you um you should really look into but anyways so let's get into what we are seeing in your tarot cards so on the top row we have the knight of swords we have the three of pentacles and the knight of pentacles bottom row clarifying the knight of swords we have the nine of cups clarifying the three of pentacles we have the eight of swords clarifying the knight of pentacles we have the three of swords and this card right over here the two of cups this is your perceived obstacle 
for this moment in time in your life. So when I looked into your cards and as I'm as I'm looking into it, um, Virgo, I'm getting a clear message that with you, it's all about your focus. OK, um, what are you focusing on? What are you putting your energy, your time and your effort into? Um, this is going to tell you what's going like what are you going to what's going to be a good payout you know and I feel like maybe in the past you've kind of like really moved on potential of things without really weighing in the pros and the cons and I feel like by you weighing in the pros and the cons it's going to help you because with this two of cups right here how I'm reading this your obstacle is you know honoring what you love or what you invest in? What do you give your love to? For some of my Virgos, I'm hearing very loudly, maybe you have given people your energy when you should be planning your energy in something that you're passionate about. Because with this Knight of Swords, Spirit is asking you to take action on your creative on your creative pursuits, um, on your, you know, on your work. Move swiftly. Be about um, your work be about the things that bring you passion as far as as creativity because when you do that when you move swiftly on your dreams you're going to get a win-win scenario right here with this nine of cups you know but the problem is something has your focus now and again it could be that you're over analyzing you're being a perfectionist you know you got to have it all the way down before it can come out and I feel like this gets you stuck in your head for some of my Virgos for some of you instead of focusing on your work you're focused on love okay and that's throwing you off um, because whatever you put your energy to um, that's what's going to manifest and I feel like for some of my Virgos if you're putting your energy towards a relationship uh, that's not it's not time yet i feel like you have bigger fish to fry <laughs> um with just within yourself within your creative um pursuits so trying to give this coin to a suitor right now i feel like it's going to end in the three of swords because you're getting balanced within yourself you're becoming balanced within your emotions you're really um learning how to put yourself first so in turn when you get to a, a certain level in that, because we're always going to be, you know, growing in life, it's going to free you and um, free you from attracting suitors that don't love their self, attracting suitors that are in and out, you know, it, attracting suitors that are focused on everything but you. Once you turn around and focus on what is important to you, you know, reclaiming your power, building you up. OK, and pursuing your dreams, um, even if you're a female, you're really being asked to tap into your masculinity and really be assertive when it comes to your your passions, when it comes to speaking your mind, when it comes to, you know, being about your well-being and, and basically being on your grind. You're being asked to, you know, step up and balance out your masculinity and your femininity is what I'm seeing. This is a time to really pursue creative projects because I feel like some of my Virgos, you're desiring love. With this two of cups being your obstacle, you're either desiring love or you're having a hard time doing what you love. Maybe you feel like what you love won't bring you money. It might start off slow now, Virgo, but if you keep investing in it, it's going to pay off. It's one of those longevity things here. Um, and I feel like the moment you stop looking for love or looking at love is when it's going to fall into your lap. And by then, you're probably not even going to really <laughs> be too much interested in it. And I know you're like, Tori, that's no way. But I'm telling you, that's what I'm seeing, guys. Like, I really... You're going to meet the love of your life when you least expect it. Like, love is literally going to fall into your lap. And I feel like you and this person is destined to meet. You don't have to try to be somewhere. You don't have to try to do anything except just be yourself and follow 
your um your dreams. That's literally what spirit wants you to know. It's not going to be hard like it's always been in the past. And speaking of your love life, let's just go ahead and see what spirit wants you to get ready for when it comes to love. Okay. So, hi, my loves. Here we go. I apologize about that, guys. I did not have the mic plugged in. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. I hope the sound was not too bad. But now we're going to go ahead and get into your love life. I went ahead and placed all of your cards out already for you so we can just jump right into it. And I just want to explain some things right here. So, the three cards from my love and relationship, this is going to be your guidance from the Divine Spirit when it comes to how you should show up or proceed in love um, in this moment in time in your life. And this card that's by itself right here, the worth waiting for, this is your perceived obstacle. Um, when it comes to your love life, Virgo, and make the effort. This is what you need future partners from here on out to do in order for there to be a mutual give and receive, you know, to have the relationship in balance. Because the moment that a relationship is in balance, it's not going to work. Okay, so I want to start off with your freaking, you know, messages from spirit. Like if you guys are heartbroken about a relationship, you have no idea what is in store for you by you making a conscious decision to put yourself Virgo you're really opening up for the door for the most beautiful enchanting sweetest reliable sensual ugh, person to come into your life like God wants you to know like spirit about to bless you okay like you're about to be blessed the universe is about to bless you you're going to understand why it never worked out with that person so Spirit says, go ahead and just let bygones be bygones with the no scorekeeping. I cut ties with past conflicts and make my personal life a clean, shiny slate. Beginning this moment, everything is new. When an old grievance repeats itself in my head, I introduce it to my new head tenants, okay? Tolerance and equal... Oh, I always mess this word up. Okay, but um, then I give it its stupid shirt and records back and tells it to leave. So, you know, Spirit is saying you don't need to carry around any resentment, any anger, because what left your life, you're going to be thankful that it did when you get to the point where it's time for you to really experience this, you know, love in another. We also have my best self. Just make it all about you right now. That's how you're going to call in a person that's all about you by you being about you. I trust that when I'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself, the right sort of relationships will appear in my life. I wasn't even looking at that when I said that, guys. That means I can let go of all of my worries about the future, knowing that my only job is to be happy in this moment, okay? And lastly, you know, by you doing this, you're going to be calling in a boundless love. Today, I'm, I open, I'll am i open my eyes um, a little wider and walk a little taller, noticing that the world around me is filled with teeny miracles. With this in mind, it's easy to fall in love over and over again with everything from honeybees to neon signs. And while I'm feeling this inspired... And this in love, everything else sort of falls into place. So by you just focusing on you, you're going to create this. And I just feel like being gratitude that, you know, all is well and you are safe is what I'm hearing from spirit. For some of my Virgos, like, I don't know why, but you really want to pay attention to what you eat. Or just, you know, when it comes to love, I feel like partners have really drained your energy. So I feel like this is definitely a time of restoration and just really pouring into yourself. So let's get into your tarot. The top row, we have the Three of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Cups. Middle row, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, again, but reversed this time, and the Page of Swords. Then we, oh my God, three major arcanas, Temperance, Justice, and Emperor. So what this is telling me, Virgo, is right now it's about focusing on... The Three of Wands is about focusing on your dreams, your craft, also just waiting for your ships to come in. And I feel like when it comes to relationships, you know, you kind of just settle or just like go to the first option because I feel like what, you know, 
the person for you hasn't really came yet. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I don't feel like it's time. You're meant to be somewhere. They're meant to be somewhere and it's just going to magically fit in. But it's nothing that you can do. You're not going to miss this. You know, so you can just really focus on you and just take that ease. It's all about, you know, creating fun and joy in your life right now and finding that balance within with this temperance card. Um, also, you know, you're learning how to really rest in your, I want to say, I wouldn't know why, but I heard resting bitch face, you know, <laughs> like standing your queen of swords. All right. You need like, no, any of this little knight of swords coming in and out for a quick hit fix and then exit. No, we're not doing none of that. And I feel like stand in your power, cut out the people that just want access of you, but are um just want the flower, but not willing to tend to the garden. No, ma'am. Okay. Or guy. No, we're not doing that. And by you coming into this energy, you're going to call in someone who's worthy. This is your justice. This is your just due. But you have to pass this test right here. I'm not going to lie to you. And a past lover is going to come back around on Virgo. And they're coming back around literally so you can reject them. But if you allow them back in, the cycle is just going to repeat itself. And you're going to, it's going to keep happening until you, you know, release this person and see for what it is that you're worthy of more. And if you already did that, cool, cool. Just when they try to come back in, just keep telling them no. Because this person right here does have a lot of emotion from you, this past person with this King of Cups. But the thing that people don't realize about the King of Cups is un unhealthily, the King of Cups is what you call a narcissist. They are so unbalanced in their emotions. They're very self-absorbed. They are not in control of their self. So I feel like, you know, um, though this, and, and let's just take it out of that. Though this person has a lot of feelings for you, they're not willing to really step into the emperor, this person that's going to come in your life. Okay. But this person watches you, let them watch you with this page of swords, but that's all they're going to do. They're not willing to do the work and it's, and I feel like we get frustrated when we're trying to make people be with us and make people do the work when they when, when it's not time for them to do that work. So spirit is saying solely focus on you right now and focus on what makes you happy and cultivating your garden because somebody is going to really want to come in and tend to that garden. <laughs> okay. So if this video resonated with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'm friendly as always Virgo. It is such a pleasure to read for the beautiful soul who is listening to this and I will catch you guys on my channel. Go be amazing and keep taking back your power. I love I love, I love the confidence on you and take care.